now we will come to a place where we receive Kryon's wisdom in a more direct way. So come on into yourself. Just take a breath. Close your eyes. <sighs> and bring the energy that's been circulating around the room inside into your body, into your being, into your consciousness. And take another breath. <sighs> and see if you can bring your awareness from your mind down into your body. See where it wants to be, maybe in your heart center or in your belly, maybe the both of them. And feel your feet on the floor. And another breath with me. <sighs> and just allow your minds to quiet and your bodies to soften, your consciousness to open, and feel the love in the room, the love that preceded us here today, the love that the beautiful angel Cryon sends ahead to warm the space up for us, to greet us when we walk in the door, to surround us with that beautiful loving energy while we're here, and to bring us guidance and information, and most especially, the reverence for the human experience. Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. It's quick. My partner steps aside as he has so many times before. It's quick. Didn't used to be. For those who have never heard this before, there is still a tendency with human nature to say this is a fake. The man in the chair is not channeling. He's entertaining. I will tell you yet again, it is not spirit who's going to disprove this or prove this, it's you. The discernment engine of the pineal of the human being is awesome. If you're in the audience or you're listening to this, you've already discovered perhaps there's a piece of God inside you, there's divinity that may live in your cellular structure. You're not just an animal on the earth, you're a piece, you're a piece of, of love from the other side of the veil. And that the structure that you pretend to have is corporeal and 3D, the actualness of it is that inside you is creative source. If you look at the history of humanity and you compare it to where it might go and you then also perhaps even compare that as a metaphor to your children growing up, where would humanity be in the scheme of growth comparing it to children? And the answer is this, that you're still on the playground. You haven't figured it out but you have just passed an energy where it's possible. And in that energy, it has stirred up absolutely everything on the planet. As we said last night, and we repeat today, that the very attributes of balance between dark and light is changing. The light is starting to increase. It is exposing the dark, the dark, is trying its best to scare you. Gaia is in the battle as well. As my partner has described before, Gaia is part of human consciousness, always was. Mother Nature is part of you. And all of these things we are not going to repeat, but we are going to remind you of, is because of you. Old soul, I'm going to ask you right now, first of all, the discernment engine inside you. Turn it on. 
I want you to see it. I want you to feel the energy that is here. I want you to feel the integrity of the love of God for you. You can call God whatever you want to, creative source spirit. Your own name for whatever it is, it's home. You understand that, don't you? The room is filled with such ancient energy as represented by the souls of those sitting in the chairs. How long have you been here? How many times? What have you experienced? What's in there, really? You realize you carry all of that record in your DNA. Do you know that most of your DNA is multidimensional? Truly, DNA carries a field with it. Someday we'll be seen. Right now, it's simply fairy talk to many. Science has already seen that DNA contains a field which changes the spin of electrons in a quantum field. That should be enough for you to know that DNA is not just a biological molecule. It's not just a biological molecule. Is it possible that inside you, you carry the history of everything? And it is. How old are you? What have you been through? Whatever it is, it lays on you enough to sit in the chair today and be interested in what's going on here. If you could, if you could lay out before you the stories that are here, the wars you've been through, the battles, the victories, the number of children you've had, what that what that became on the planet. The original beliefs, how you've been persecuted, how you've been killed. How many times did you wake up and not survive? More than a few years because they found out what you believed. How many lifetimes do you have to go through that before it scars your psyche? It is the reason why light workers and old souls right now carry around lack of self-worth on the planet. That is one of the recalibrations you're going to have to go through. Do you understand this? It's time to see magnificence. Because that's what's actually there. It's time to go into the Akash and rewrite why you're here. You're graduating. The playground where you would swat each other, throw rocks at each other, call each other's names, is going away. We've said it before. When you watch children grow up, there comes a point past self-awareness where they start realizing that their survival in their society, even as young people, is going to have to contain politeness and tolerance and acting differently, awareness of the other, getting along in order to survive. A new kind of survival is upon you. Is it too difficult for you to see the comparison? We're going to call it spiritual evolution, and you're on the cusp, and the ones who know all about it and who are leading the way and already have the consciousness are sitting in the room are listening to this now that's who you are and in the process of this there is a reawakening I want to tell you the sun is coming out and in the process all dark things are gonna hate it they're gonna hate it as the sun comes out they're not going to like to be exposed. They're going to cobble together their greatest strength and try to, try to throw the fear into you. So you'll stop it. And I said last night, and I want you to hear this again, you cannot scare an old soul. They've been through it all. Don't despair and hold the light. That is the message. It's time to see magnificence. The channeling tonight will be a different subject. It's a subject that needs to be talked about because it is at hand. We have channeled before, and we're going to describe this again. 
what is the new normal on the planet? <laughs> what is it that recalibration for you now includes that you didn't think about? What's next for the light worker who is feeling recalibration energy and is not aware of what to do next? This needs to be addressed simply. We will start that address tonight. I am in awe of your experience. I know who's here. I know what's happened. <laughs> there are some who need to hear this. It's going to be all right. It really is. I want you to lift love and compassion at the highest level in your life. See all things through this new lens. The things that you would think would be hurtful between people don't need to be when seen through the lens of compassion. Some of the solutions that are untenable to you now will find their own way to solve when you use compassion. Part of creating new consciousness is rearranging what is the most important in your life. Dropping the old ways and the old reactions. Coming to new agreements that involve compassion. Easier said than done. <laughs> But this is the beginning of it all. Congratulations. And so it is.